park and I started in the streets of New York in 1989. I wanted to change the way the world looked at us in regards to fashion. Before park and I, there was none. We're trying to build a clothing brand. We want to find the perfect person to feature in our first clothing advertisement. And we went to no other than P. Diddy. I did a car canine ad, and that was the coolest thing that you could be involved in. Like, who was in the next car canine ad? And it, it, it just made the dream accessible. It made me feel like, you know, if he could do it, I could do it. Pac used to wear my clothes all the time, even before I met him. So I wanted to meet this dude, man, because, you know, Pac was all over the place. So AZ again, he set up a meeting. So we go up to Pac's room. The whole time we in there, he didn't even look me in my face when I walked in the room. He just said, what's up? He was typing a script to a movie. As he's typing the script to the movie, he's having a very intelligent conversation with me about black culture, hip hop, things like that. The only time he stopped typing is when I asked him, I said, Pac, so like, um, how much would you charge me to do an ad? He stopped. He said, man, I ain't gonna charge you, you black charge my people for nothing. And the man kept his word. Two weeks later, we was in New York. We did the photo shoot. It was all love. And ever since then, we became tight. And Tupac was one big reason why I helped my brand internationally and globally, because they worship him like a god overseas in Europe. In hip hop, the nigga's still living. The nigga that do all the dirt still living. So it's like, that's like that hero shit. That go back to Africans telling stories and shit. You know, we just, we just passing that hero to soldier. Up. I gotta get mine. You gotta get yours. 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 I with the dick, make your kidney shift. Here we go, here we go, but I'm not domino I got the funk flow to make your drawers drop slow So recognize the dick size in these car canine jeans I wear 13s, know what I mean? I Philosophy of car canine from the beginning was to combine music and fashion together The whole thing was that hip-hop needed a clothing designer to represent the streets Pop and I footwear surfaced in 1994. We were the first streetwear brand to launch footwear and put it in all the major stores. We featured Pete Rock and CL Smooth in some of our first footwear advertisements. Took the market by storm. For you from their first full-length album, Mecca and the Soul Brother. Please give it up for Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Yeah. Our city of just wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And if you're down with Pete Rock and see us move, let me hear you say, Oh yeah, oh yeah, Seattle smooth. I reminisce for a spell and shall I say think back 22 years ago to keep it on track. The birth of a child on the 8th of October, a toast from my granddaddy came so Look at me, I'm all wet. I'm gonna right upstairs, go up there and dry you off. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, Carl, nice boots. You better hurry up, baby. Why is that? Because my father's gonna be home soon. And you know he don't like dogs. In streetwear, hip hop artists have many options in terms of what clothing brands they want to wear. They can go from Versace to streetwear brands, and they chose to wear Carl oh Canal. It was more of a movement that we had going on from the beginning. People wore it because it was real, it was legit, and it was a design that they could relate to. They talked the same language, who grew up in the same inner cities that they grew up in. So that's why it was a big reason why they rocked the brand and we became very successful through the power of the hip hop. 
it wasn't for Carl Canal, a lot of rappers wouldn't be wearing jeans and outfits wouldn't be matching, you know? He put that in the game, put the big letters on the game, just, you know, the originator of all of these, these clothing lines and these clothing looks that, you know, the rappers like to blasphemize and put out there. <laughs> Carl Kanai Jeans started in the streets of New York in 1989. I wanted to change the way the world looked at us in regards to fashion. Ten years later, ten years strong, we'll never forget where we came from. This one goes out to everybody that's been rocking their Kanai's from day one. One love. Urban clothing, no, it ain't urban clothing, it's clothing. No it's doubt. clothing for the universe. Worldwide, you know what I'm dude. saying? He set the trend. We're taking this thing here overseas to the underground, to the pop world, to the rock world. It can't be stopped. You did Carl and I, Snoop Dogg. The two big figures. It's like Godzilla and King Kong in the same motion picture. Get Kanai in your life. I am the God.